this is where I've been for the last couple days in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, if you've never been here, it's actually a very pretty city. This is the hotel. I've been saying it's got this big uh, rooftop right by us, but outside of that, it's uh, it's a pretty cool view during the day. Uh, looks like it's partly cloudy today. I am going to Denver, Colorado, going back home. Been here for work for a couple days, like I said. Uh, the interesting thing about today is I think right now it's about 85 degrees outside. Let me double check that. Uh, it's, it's pretty warm out here, but back home, it's been snowing. So yeah, it's 87 degrees. So uh, we're gonna see quite a contrast in temperature today from when we take off and when we land at Denver. So uh, let's go for a ride. So when I left my room, I was greeted with this bill for $316. That's what it costs for two nights stay here. Pretty crazy, huh? I'll show you the lobby really quick. This is about it. If you ever want to come here, I would not recommend it, but there you go. Just had lunch uh, at a place there called The Yard, if you see that. Uh, this is called Market Square. It's kind of cool. It's down here and they have this interesting building and they have a lot of the same look when you look around. My flight's not till 4.30, so. I'm getting there really early. We'll get to see a lot of the Pittsburgh airport. So keep watching. We're gonna we're gonna have fun. As you see, this is not a very large airport. Uh, nice and windy today. Probably good 15 mile an hour winds or something. Um, but a beautiful day too. Just partly cloudy. We're gonna go in here and. Uh, sit for our flights, our flights for like another two and a half hours. So we got some time. Oh, this is kind of cool. Some history of the, uh, all their bridges. There's three rivers that come together downtown where I was. Um, and there are all these yellow bridges. This is the other thing I was going to show you, the arch. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, it's, it's like a robot built from the bridges. Like you see all the yellow, it's the same color as the bridges. That's hilarious. PCR for 129, Antigen 95. If you just want to do both at the same time, they got a deal there for you. 175. That's hilarious. Why would you get both tests? It makes no sense. Hey, they got a piano. Huh. Speaking of. Speaking of uh, COVID, you can't, can't even play a piano anymore. <laughs> can't play a piano because you might die. Not really, but that's what I'd want to make you believe. Made it past security. There's literally nobody in front of me. Oh yeah, we get to go on a train. Departure gate injury by using escalator or elevator. This is the final stop for Concourses A. <laughs> that's B. hilarious. It says it's the final stop, but it's the only stop. <laughs> I thought the way that they talked when we got on it, I thought we were going to be able to go very far. But, uh, and this feels like a dying airport if I've ever been in one. Starbucks down there, there's not even a line. That's crazy. You know, if you watch my videos, you see how uh, every time I see Starbucks, there's normally like a line of like 15, 20 people or so, you know. We're right there. Looks like we're gonna fly over some storms of some sort because they probably are not gonna go around that. So these are some of those shops I was showing you that are no longer open. Some of these restaurants are just closed though. Like look at this one, Marathon something. And no longer open. Yeah, Marathon Diner, just no longer. I don't know if I should, that's what I landed, but that's another store that's out. Getting some fuel in the plane, I'd like to see that. Getting the bags on the plane as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Cam, hey Mason. Um, uh, three one nine, <laughs> When you're the first one to get on, <laughs> it's like an empty flight. Uh, this is gonna be a full flight too. I think that's what they're saying. Um,
this flight, I actually tried to watch a movie, but unfortunately, it wasn't working. A lot of, the, I think we were having a lot of problems because of the clouds we were going through or whatnot. This is one of the areas where I was just trying to close my eyes, listen to music, and. <laughs> pilot came on explaining uh hey we're going to be going through this turbulence for a little bit more but uh yeah just trying to capture this on video a little you can see the wing flap in there quite a bit uh but this is what it's like to go through some turbulence did that they drained my water and all my water went all over everything in my bag so this is completely wet this thing is all whatever uh, this is just frustrating yeah my bag's completely wet so I was told this is where I should come this is customer service look at this line like who wants to wait in line for that so I'll say uh, I was a little let down by the lack of snow on the ground when we landed. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, sorry if I'm a little grumpy about my bag. Literally, it's all, it's all wet. My whole back is completely wet now. Uh, so that's why I'm upset. I don't know who moved my bag, but that's just, it bothers me so much that book bags don't get any preference when you're when you put your stuff in the overhead compartments, they always take all the real bags, you know, the hard case ones, whatever, and they, they move the book bags around like it's no big deal. And they'll put them under your feet or whatever. And it's like, hey, I got here first. I paid the same amount of money to put my bag in. How's my bag less important than another bag? Like, it just really bothers me. So yeah, that's my, uh, my rant on that. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Peace.